Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to build your own PC at home. Okay, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the tools you're gonna to need, thermal paste if your cooler doesn't come with it already pre-applied. You're gonna need some tweezers, then if you know, you know. These are actually cable ties. Antistatic bracelet and a just a screwdriver. So first thing you want to do. You want to take out your motherboard, put it on the motherboard box as an anti-static workspace. We already have our CPU installed because we've already tested this before. Lift this latch up here, that's it. You see this triangle there? Let me get a bit closer to you, see? This one needs to be matched on the board right there. That's how you put it in perfectly. There you go, okay. Put, close the latch on. So, uh, since our CPU is already installed, we're going to put in our RAM next. So we got our RAM, we got a 32 gig kit, a Corsair Vengeance RGB, 3200 megahertz, because we all know Ryzen loves that fast memory. Oh, look at that, doesn't that look beautiful? If you populate the slot furthest away from the CPU, which would be this one, as you can see on our motherboard, it already has us printed on for us. So we want channel one and channel two, yeah? I'm gonna open these little tabs. There we go. Uh, you'll see a little notch in the stick, and you want to line that up with the notch in the slot. And then you just want to slide it in like this. Push down firmly on each end until it clicks. There we go. So you want to miss this slot, and then go to the slot just over like this. And then you let it click. So this is our memory and CPU installed. So for our motherboard, we are actually using an M.2 SSD, so we're gonna do that next. Some of you might already have a two and a half inch SSD, but we went for the M.2 uh, because just, it was the same price at the, on the day, so. And this is gonna be just a little bit faster. Our motherboard does accept an M.2 drive, so if you wanna get one of these, you need to check online the specs of your motherboard to see if it does except an M.2. So this is our M.2 slot. Generally the post comes in the uh, already normal position, but obviously if yours is bigger or shorter, you can move the post to add a, you know, so how you do it. All right. So you just want to take off this little screw that may or may not come in uh, already. If not, it'll be in the box. And take your SSD, you want to slide it in. There you go. It's in. So what you're gonna do when it's in like this, just wanna push it down slightly like this, get a little screw, and screw it in. Obviously this doesn't need to be too tight, just tight enough to hold it in place. So after our SSD install, we're gonna put in our cooler. If your Ryzen processor ships with a cooler like this, now this is a stock AMD cooler, so is this one, you're gonna need to take off this little bracket here by these little screws and then you're gonna screw these little posts directly through the motherboard into the back plate. We're gonna be using this fancy shiny new RGB one, which as you can see, just hooks over this little hook here. So as you can see, our cooler already comes with pre-applied thermal paste, but if yours doesn't like this one, you're gonna to need to get a little bit of a stick, uh, put a little bit on there, about a grain of rice, little pea size right in the middle, I mean, some people spread it out, but you don't really need to, because when you wrench down the cooler, it's gonna spread it out automatically. So with this type of cooler, as I said before, it just hooks over these little brackets here. So we can place it down nice and gently. We're gonna get the one side over here. Right, there you go. Hook it over one side, hook it over the other side, and then you'll have this little lever, which you basically just pull back like this. Just take a bit of tension, don't worry. We're gonna snap, pull that back like that, and that's our cooler installed. Next we wanna do is plug in our CPU fan. This is a little bit too long. Tie a little knot in it like this. 
make it a little bit shorter. It only goes in one way, so there's a little key here. So plug that in. There you go. Okay, so as you can see, that's pretty much everything we need to do outside of the case for our motherboard. So now we're going to start prepping the case for installation. This is the case we're going to use today. This is a, what is this? This is from AeroCool. I've never used these before, but it looked pretty nice on the website and it was a decent price as well. Even comes with included RGB. 120 mm fan in the back there. We've already got some more fans uh, to install on the top and in the front. Uh, this isn't tempered glass, this is plexi, I think. It's plexiglass, plastic. But you win some, you lose some. But we have got a little bit of peel to do here. Oh, look at this. Look at that for noise. So this stuff you get in the case, this is actually quite new. I think we've got a little bit of a manual going on here. Uh, we may need that, but you know, we've built so many pieces here that we already know which plug is which. You get a little baggy, again with the tweezers. This is actually zip ties if you're on from America or cable ties here. Little baggy for the standoffs, which looks like we're actually going to need to install a few more standoffs. So we're gonna do that first before installing our motherboard. So this little baggie that comes with the, uh, the PC case generally has everything you need in it. Uh, we have power supply screws, motherboard screws, a couple of fan screws in there. But this is what we're after, the motherboard standoffs, because it looks like we need to install a few more for our MATX motherboard, because this is set up for an ITX for some reason. Uh, but this case sports ITX, MATX and ATX. But since we've only got a micro ATX motherboard today, we only need to install a few more. It don't matter if you get these all over the place. So we're gonna use them anyway. This is what they look like, these little gold things. Uh, we need one, two, three, four of these for MATX. If you use an ITX board, it looks like it's already got the four posts installed. So what you don't wanna do is literally just get them and screw them into the holes. You can do them by hand, but we have a little wrench here. You don't want to do these too tight. Just tight enough, like, just nip tight, that's all. So now that we have all of our motherboard standoffs installed, we're going to get our little I.O. shield. All right, so now we're going to place our motherboard. Now we put our I.O. shield in. Just want to lower it in like this. Little angle, so it goes in. And then place it down. I'm going to get these little tiny screws that come with a little bag. And we're going to screw these in. Got all four of these points. Easy peasy. So this is our power supply. Again from AeroCool. 700 watts, which is going to be plenty of power. Just uh, get the children's scissors. Power cable, we're going to need that. And the power supply itself. And it also comes with some screws four little screws to mount it. So it's time to put in our power supply. Obviously, because our, our case has a f uh, vent at the bottom, we're gonna put the fan down. Yeah, and it literally just slides in like this. That's a tight fit, that's what she said. Get four of these. These are the ones that came with the case, but these are the ones that came with the power supply, but it's, you know, the same stuff. So what we're going to do now is uh, we've already sorted out our cables here. We've got the CPU power already ran. This is a 24 pin for the motherboord. We're going to sh shove this through this little grommet here. GPU power, which that can go through here for later on. And then the rest of it is literally just SATA power for drives and things, but we're only running single hard drives, so we'll, get, we'll deal with that later. All right, so what we're going to do now is it's going to plug in our front uh, panel I.O. such as USB 3.0 which goes in this little plug. Yeah. Now once that's in, do not take it out because you know they're a pain in the butt. USB 2 onto that one. These are all keyed by the way so they only go in one way. We have a little card reader here which is also USB 2. Front panel audio which is way over here. Again it's keyed so they will only go in one way. So that's the easy bit done. The hard bit is these little things here, such as the power button reset, power LED, 
like our dry rate. You can use the motherboard manual for this, but it's already keyed out for you on the motherboard, look. So next we're going to install our hard drives to a two terabyte from Seagate. Just going to grab this little hard drive cage here. Put it apart like this. Yours might be different. It might you might need to screw it in. Um, but you just place it in like this. Slide it back in like that. Easy. So you're gonna grab your SATA cable, which can be included with your motherboard. These are keyed again one way. So uh, push, as it clicks. Shove that through there for later on. This is uh, SATA power. Again, it's keyed, so it only goes in one way. And that is. That's done for the back. Move it round. And get your set of cable. You'll plug it into a set of port. There you go. So next thing we're going to do is install our fans. Uh, we already took this one out, which was already mounted in the rear. Uh, so we're going to have two mounted in the front as intake. Like one down here, one here, and two in the back, the rear as exhaust. And uh, we got some, again by Aero Cool, some fancy RGB ones, which are going to look really cool. All right, so install, to install fans, you want to get these little screws. They look like this. And what they're going to do is going to cut, this thread is going to cut into the frame of the fan. Um, so you just want to get it roughly lined up. Yeah. Get a screw. If you notice, the fan is facing this way, so this is going to be an intake fan. So when you've got your fan nicely screwed in, you're going to find the nearest fan header on your motherboard or a hub like we're going to use, but this one's going to straight into the motherboard. Obviously you can see it's a three pin, this is a four pin, it doesn't really matter too much. We're going to install our RGB fans. Uh, so we have one in the front here and then we have the other two as exhaust in the rear and then we're going to connect all of these fans up to our, where is it, up to our RGB hub and then like we did with the last fan, we can find the little cable um, and plug it into a fan header up here on the motherboard. Now that we have all of our fans uh, installed, we're going to try and sort out some of this rat's nest back here with our little cable ties here. And we've got a few, fair few cable down, uh, cable down, tie down points. So we're just going to grab a couple of these. I mean. There's only so much you can do because there's a lot of cables back here, but at least we can make it somewhat. So now our fans are installed, uh, we've tidied up all our wiring in the in the back. The only thing left to install is the business end of this game PC, our graphics card. We're going to install our GPU in the top slot. Same again with the RAM, just push it down to hear a click and that's installed. So the only thing left to do is to plug in our GPU power. Our, our GPU only needs a six pin plug. So we're just gonna get our six pin plug. Again, these are keyed, so they only go in one way. All right, so we finished everything that we need to do. Let's just flick the little power switch on the back and hope for the best. So that's the computer completely built, finished. It's all plugged in, as you can see. We've managed to get into Windows, so all we need to do now is install our drivers, make sure we're all up to date, and then we can go play some games. Uh, if you're struggling with uh, updating your drivers and things, leave us a comment down below and we'll do our best to help you. So this is how to build a PC. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you disliked it, dislike it, like it if you like it. Stick around, smash that subscribe button and all the good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one.